Steph, Chris Alves from ABC7. I saw you released uh, your, some outtakes from your CarMax commercial. How much fun were those commercials? And have you grown as an actor since your Burger King days with your dad? <laughs> yeah, my uh, my lines have picked up tremendously, so that's that's big. But uh, yeah, it's, it, that's kind of funny. Uh, I've come a long way for sure in uh, my on-screen presence. <laughs> Steph, are you following the WNBA news that the Atlanta Dream have a new ownership group? Uh, Kelly Leffler is out. Former player Renee Montgomery is in. What do you think about those moves? It's amazing. It really just speaks for itself in terms of how you flip a uh, terrible situation, misrepresentation of what the WNBA is about on its head. And you know, for Renee and for that, oh, that group come in, um, they just – it's, it's just awesome to see, and uh, it's it's very inspirational in terms of um, you know where we're all headed in terms of turning turn these conversations into actual action and opportunity and an accomplishment like that. So um, you know, shout out to to, to Renee and and just the conversation at, at large around um, you know women's sports, protecting the game, growing the game, and uh, and getting some skin in the game too. That's pretty pretty dope. Jeff, to follow up on the dream situation Karis was asking about, is ownership, whether it's WNBA or broader, something that uh, you'd like to get into over time? Uh, yeah, I don't have like a specific plan, but I follow a lot of the, the conversations and, and some of the uh, the ways that former players have kind of approached, you know, those opportunities. You, know, you see, like Grant Hill, Shaq, um, you know, other guys that have really put time and effort and 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 done their homework and put themselves in position to to kind of realize that dream. Obviously, MJ is is the ultimate example, but um, yeah, that's it's definitely and in, in, it's interesting, it's uh, it's enticing, but um, long way to go. Steph, uh, food insecurity has obviously been a huge uh, Chris, issue. Chris, last question. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Steph, as far as uh, I saw an interview you did about, on ESPN about food insecurity, eat, learn, play, or obviously give back with that. Uh, the Swishes for Dishes, I'm doing a story on that, 100 points or 100 meals for every point. So what do you thought about what the Warriors done with, with that program and giving back to the community? I mean, any uh, opportunity to, to raise money for issues that uh, are impacting, you know, kids and families' lives, uh, especially in in Oakland, a lot of the things that I've, you know, me and my wife with our, our foundation, Eat, Learn, Play, have uh, understood to be true in terms of how vast the need is, you know, in our backyard, and uh, you know that how much is necessary to provide for the the most basic of needs you know for for kids um just to know where their next meal is coming from so that's pretty pretty awesome knowing that there's a, a multi-faceted effort across the board from a lot of different people organizations obviously the warriors as well to uh to meet the need to participate and um you know do what we can